Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and have ourselves a nice looting day. Uh, so let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to actually make ourselves a second lockpick because um, we're going to see if we can actually grab two locked crates today. Okay, so we're going to need some of this and some of this and some of this. And let's make ourselves a second one here. All right. Uh, so we got that done, and uh, we also need to repair a bunch of our stuff, too. So let's just repair everything. Um, we're going to need this and probably some of those. So let's get our bow repaired, our pistol, our shotgun, our rifle. You know, the Magnum's actually... How much is it? Uh, what the heck? Let's just do it. Let's just get her done. Uh, our clothing's in really good shape, so we got that repaired. All right, so let's put all this stuff back in here. Um, let's see, we got quite a few nine mils. Let's split those in half. Not, we won't take all of them with us. Uh, we should be able to make, let's see, we got a full, let's, let's make, um, one more of those, I guess. Um, can we make another of these? Nope, not quite. Okay, so all of our weapons, um, except for the Magnum are full, but we don't have a lot of spare ammo, but that's okay. We should be all right. Um, now, we are going to go ahead and take some of our nails here. Let's split these in half. Um, and then maybe what we'll do is grab 10 nails. And we're going to make 10 nails worth of... Um, well, you know what? Let's do, let's do 12 of arrows. So we want to make six of those. Okay. Um, and then uh, we're going to need... One, two, three, four, five, six arrows. Let's get this reloaded. Uh, we're gonna turn the light off here, and uh, let's see. You need to be topped off. Uh, we should also check our. Uh, let's check our crop plots here. So we'll top you off with water. Top you off with water, and let's grab this potassium here for fertilizer for you. Uh, looks like our tomato crop, uh, most of them except for these two, are, are just about ready, which is great. And that's still coming along. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to give that one fertilizer. That one's not quite as high of a priority. All right, let's get some arrows made here. And let's go out and check our chicken. Uh, check oh, look at that. We got another egg, too. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and, and top off the water. The food's in pretty good shape for the chicken. One thing I forgot to do, which I frequently forget to do, is uh, look for the rogues, where the rogues are located. But we'll just have to kind of keep our eyes peeled for them. Put that in there, put these guys in there, and we'll put the egg in here. We don't really need to put the egg in the fridge, but we'll do it anyways. Okay, we have no protein cooked. Um, so let's cook up a liver and, um, we have some protein bars too. So let's take like one protein bar. Let's eat some blueberries because we're going to start finding blueberries all over the place and that'll get our carbs up. And, uh, you know what? Actually, I don't want to, I don't want to take time to do this. We're just going to eat protein bars. Okay. That, that gets us pretty darn close. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to make a berry water and take that with us and we'll consume that while we're out in the field. And, you know, based upon that, let's also take a few protein bars for the same reason. Okay. I think we're good to go. Oh, we do have a pick here that, uh, well, we're going to wait, um, to feed that into the thingamadoodle. Let's grab our second lock pick. Okay. So we have enough to do two lockpicks. I don't think we're going to run into any trouble with being too cold um, because, you know, we have a cold tolerance of minus 5.5 and it is now spring, so I, don't, I doubt it'll get that cold. Um, so we're not worried about that. Oh, we got a new pick here. Axe is good. So, yeah, I think we're in good shape. Uh, not expecting any hunter attacks at all because all three of the hunters attacked us yesterday if you missed uh, that episode. And you guys are ready to pick. All right, let's just do this now so we can get more growing while we're out and about beautiful uh, okay uh, what seeds do I currently have I've got these but I want to you know we'll keep growing those in there this is a dedicated tomato slash 
uh, cotton plant bed here. All right, so we'll put those six in there, and then we'll convert all of these to six seeds. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's top you off. We'll grab these guys here and put two of those in there. We'll take one with us. And we'll grab some fat. I almost have two full stacks of biofuel, which is great. We'll keep that guy going. And then I want you to be working on... Uh, I'll keep working on potassium while we're gone. Okay. And then last thing we're going to do before we leave is we're going to top this off with a fuel brick. I know it's not quite all the way down, but that's okay. we got plenty of fuel bricks. I want to hang on to, to, the, to our wood. Those guys go back down there. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. You go down there. You come up here. You can go in there. Okay, let's roll. Just looking one last time to make sure no one's coming. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um... If all goes well today, we can find two locked crates. That'll be amazing. It will indeed be amazing. We have a clam and some kelp down here. Two clams. Let's grab those because we're going to start needing uh, pearls, you know, for electronics and whatnot. You know what? I'm going to actually use my axe on clams because it doesn't seem to mess with the durability. And it takes just a little bit longer, but... That way we can save our pick for the ores. Hopefully a bit, little bit later on in year two here, uh, we'll be able to start going down to the caves and doing some cave diving and all that. Um, so that is definitely on the to-do list. Get all the goodies down from the caves. And then we have a kelp over here. That's so nice to not have winter anymore. Like I said, I, I won't mind winter as much next year because we'll be much more uh, prepared for it. But it was just, just kind of a pain in the butt this, this first year. And remember, too, I, um, I started in April and not March. So that also kind of came into play for, well, and the other thing too is somewhere along the line, unbeknownst to me, whether I screwed it up at the beginning or something changed later on, um, our game was set to 60 days and I intended for it to be 90 days. I guess I should go back and watch the very first video of this season two and see if at that point I had actually set it to 90 days. Cause I sure thought that I had, but maybe I didn't, I don't know. You never know with me, man. You never know with me. Okay. We are going to do one more thing. We're going to drink that. We're going to go fill it back up. And then we're going to take off. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Our goal is two locked crates. It is late morning, so yeah, we're kind of getting a bit of a late start, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to go up to the arch first, and then we're going to go down to the central pond in the forest, uh, Central Valley. And if we don't find anything there, we're going to kind of circle back around and, and hit the, uh, the edge of the birchwood. That's kind of the, the route we're going to take today. Uh, we're not going to hunt. Uh, well, we're not going to go out of our way to hunt. Um, we are going to try and just loot. That's the name of the game, is looting. Loot, 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 and then more loot. Let's do this. Okay, we got a bear up there. And a bunny. But like I said, we're going to... If we do any hunting at all, we'll do it, you know, later in the day, of course. There's a couple ores here. Looks like they're both iron. Amazing. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. Uh, here's a building crate. We still need nails like there's no tomorrow. 
Hopefully we can, you know, start building those up. Uh, we got a wolf and a bear that way. Let's let's avoid those guys for now. And we'll go down along the beach here. Once I, you know, I get my resources back up a little bit, and I feel like we're in a pretty good spot, we're going to start raiding the hunters too. We're going to start bringing the hurt to them. But I just want to... I want to get a little bit, feel like I'm a little bit more, well, you know, resourced before we start doing that too much. Okay, let's, uh, normally I'd get the grub tree, but let's not do that. Let's just focus on looting. Focus on looting. Stay focused, especially if we're going to try and find ourselves two locked crates today. I often do find two locked crates in one run, but I don't usually have two locked picks with me, you know. It kind of sucks when you see that second lock crate and you can't do anything with it. It's a bummer. All right. Let's kind of look around through here. Here is a building crate and a level one wolf. Uh, You know what? He's going to be a pain in the butt, so let's kill him. Get this back down on the toolbar. We have our canteen with us so we can clean our hands, but let's let's wait a little bit longer in case we end up killing a couple more critters before we have to wash up. I've got that uh I got the berry water with me so we can use that for hydration. Okay, let's go back over this way. And we'll just kind of look around in this general vicinity before we move on to the Central Valley. Okay, there's an ammo crate there. Here is a medicinal. Nice, tomato seed. We'll take it. We're going to let the chicken go for now. Let's kind of look down in through here because sometimes the lock crate can be down in this area. And we'll head over towards that ammo crate. Alrighty then. Oh, locked crate. Nice. Okay, we found our first locked crate. What do we got? Look at those tomato seeds. Nice. And we got some rifle ammo. We got some 44 rounds. We got, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Great. Lots of good stuff in that crate. All right, let's make sure our weapons are fully loaded. And yeah, I'll take it. Now, didn't I see an ammo crate somewhere right around in here too? I thought we did. It was like over this way somewhere. I suppose maybe it could have despawned or maybe it was back over here a little more. Let's not, let's not keep our any of our guns out just because I don't want to accidentally misfire and waste the ammo. We just can't afford to do that. All right, well, I'm not sure where that ammo crate was, but maybe it despawned, but that's all right. Okay, let's move on towards the uh, Central Valley. That's another very good place to find locked crates. And, yeah, if we can not nail two of these in one day, that's going to be pretty darn good. That doesn't happen often. Um, let's, I think I'm going to leave the copper. If it was iron, I'd get it. We've got a pretty decent amount of copper. We have over a hundred copper fragments. Um, that's not to say we don't need more because we do, but again, we're trying to maximize our time. If we end up finding a second lock crate fairly early on and we have more time left, then we can be a little bit more leisurely about, you know, being out and about here. Okay, let's go up this way. And we've got an iron and a potassium. We might as well grab them both since they're right here, right? Yeah. 
And we got another iron over here. Very good. Whoop. We'll take it. Okay, let's run this way. Oh, uh, we don't want to jump off the edge of there because that's probably going to hurt. How close are we to the pond? Yeah, it's a little ways away. Okay, we better wash our hands. I want to take a chance of getting uh, infected. More iron? Wow, this is a good day for iron, you guys. Look at this. I'll take it. Grab ourselves some fiber as we work toward the valley here. Hopefully we can, you know, come across a nice little cluster of crates. I haven't seen that yet. We've seen onesie twosies, but not, not like the big... Oh, there's a moose. Do I want to kill a moose? Uh, what? I guess the first question is what level is he? He's a level one. All right, let's do it. Let's let him run off until he calms down, and then we'll take another shot at him. There's some more iron up there, too. Level three wolf. All right, you know what? You are in our way, so you are going to die. You're going to end up in our fridge. So maybe I should have waited a little bit longer before washing the hands, but that's all right. Okay, so the moose just kind of scooched right up over the hill there. Uh, let's give him a, a couple of moments to chill. And we might as well grab this ore. Oh, he's coming back down. There he is. Oh, he's angry. Oh, crap. We broke our leg. All right. <laughs> I was, uh, I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, let's get this. Our health isn't in the best of shape now either. And that looks like zinc. Can we even get up there with our broken leg? Leg, leg, leg. Up, up, up. There we go. Let's make sure we don't fall. Actually, here, hold on. What do we need to make one of these? We need to make a stick. Okay, we have to get some wood. Okay, very carefully. Okay. Come back down this way. Oh, careful. Easy. Easy, big fella. All right, let's get our axe. Okay, let's make a stick. And then we'll make a splint. And let's make another bandage, since that took one of our bandages. Okay, while we're waiting for that, we will butcher... The moose, yeah, he just he just kind of came at me from a weird angle, so I didn't get some good shots off on him. But uh, yeah, four sinew, some cloth, the the moose meat, all that's good stuff. What that does mean though is we're gonna have to. We don't want to stay out too much longer because I want that meat to spoil. So let's move down uh, to the the valley here and see if we can find the second lock crate, and then we need to turn around and start heading back. I am aware that my health is low, but I'm going to try and be careful uh, because I'd rather not use my health pack at this point. Um, we don't have any more shotgun shells, do we? Okay. All right, let's deal with this guy.
Man, that hill kind of threw off my line of sight there. I used a little more ammo than I needed to, but I, I didn't want them to tag us because our health is low. Okay, let's go. Come on, second locked crate. Uh, there's some ore up there, but uh, let's just keep moving. Is that a... No, okay. I was going to say, is that another moose? Yeah, the moose are... They're pretty dangerous, really. Um, maybe even possibly the most dangerous critter in the game. The mountain lions are also very dangerous, of course, but the moose can mess you up. Shut up, wolf. Okay, we're we're getting into the area where we can find some locked crate action. Let's just start looking around through the forest here. And, you know, we will definitely welcome any crates, especially ones that give us more nails like this one. Let's go over to the, the pond and wash off. I sure am enjoying this game, man. This game is so fun to play. I, I, have, to, I have to be honest with you guys. Um... When I finished recording season one and I was so far ahead, you know, I ended up taking a break. And I it was really hard to do because I wanted to keep playing the game. But, you know, I needed to let season one finish before I started season two or I would have just been perpetually ahead of you. Fortunately, you know, that's when I started playing Icarus and I really enjoy Icarus too. So <clears throat> that kind of scratched the itch until... You know, we got caught up so I could get back into this game. There we go. Okay, let's um put that extra round into here. It's getting on in the day. But, you know, I, I'm not too terribly worried about being caught out at night if, the, if it happens just because, you know, it's not going to get that cold now. Not, like, dangerously cold anyways. Okay, so let's run up through here. This is also still locked crate territory. Found many a locked crate up in this area. Let's put our gun away so we don't misfire. Oh, stamina. Yeah, we gotta watch that. Why don't we do this? Why don't we take that and let's just chow down on all of those. Plus that frees us up a couple spots too. And we could use the the nutrients. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up over the mountain here. Um kind of back over where uh, our season one base was because uh, there's an area close to there where, where the lock crates would spawn frequently as well. I don't think we're going to make it over to the Birchwood though unless we go over there at night time. Look at that beautiful sunset shining through the trees. Go away, bear. Okay, so right kind of in this area, um, I found locked crates quite a bit in season one. Make sure nothing's chasing us here. Nice, we got a bandage. And an ammo crate. Beautiful. Alright, we have a full magnum and then some extra rounds. Some blueberries. Man, this day really got away from us, didn't it? Uh, 
that's okay. I mean, we can't complain. We've already had a good day. Even one lock crate's good. You know, we got a moose kill and some other stuff, so... Even if we don't find another one today, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy old guy. Is our cougar friend up here? Cougars tend to give more sinew than the moose does. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be nearby, so... And it's getting dark. Okay. Oh, shit. Rogues. Run away. I hope they didn't see me. Okay. Nope, we're good. We are good. We got some zinc here. Um, and we are full, too. There's a bunny, but it's too dark for me to see him. All right, so here's the plan. This is where we used to live. Yeah, those are the rogues. Um, those rogues could come down to this pond to go fishing, though. So, I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is... Cut the camera here. Uh, because it's too dark for you guys to see. And... I will... Work... Uh, my way back home and then and what we'll do is we'll set out tomorrow morning and we'll go over you know uh towards the birchwood area and see if we can find that second lock crate okay so i'll see you guys in the morning all right guys it's the next day i am back at uh the base here and we have um uh, we have a steak and eggs cooking up here and i got some liver uh, just straight up liver cooking up here um, it seems to me, <coughs> excuse me, it seems to me like the the chicken lays eggs more often uh, on free range because I'm starting to see a lot more eggs come in than I was before. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Uh, one thing we're going to do before we set out um, for that second uh, locked crate, and I, I went ahead and made another lock pick too, so we, you know, maybe from now on um, we'll try and keep two of those in our inventory at all times. Uh, I don't think the lock, crick, uh, lock picks can be lost if you if you get killed. Uh, well, I hope they can't. Um, anyway, uh, but anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two more walls um, and finish out the end of our our base there uh, for that part of it. Uh, let's see. So let's make a window and uh, a wall. Wait, do we want to do that? Window, wall. No, let's make two wall. Uh, or no, one window, and one wall. What does it take to make these? Oh, you know what? That's not that expensive, actually. Um, let's grab. What else did I need? Oh, and some scrap. Okay. Um, because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make three of these. Oh shoot. I guess we need... We have to wait uh, for a little more iron there. That's fine. Uh, we have we have uh, iron here, so... I'll put that stuff back. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to move... This wall over. Make sure nobody's coming here. Put the window in here, and we'll put the other wall here. Come on, connect. There you go. Okay. 
I'm not worried about upgrading this one. I mean, we will eventually, but for now, uh, but I do want to get this one upgraded because it still uh, could very likely, you know, take some hits. Hey, look at that. Okay. Let's go back up this way. And we need to wait for four more iron fragments to make the third plate uh, to get that wall upgraded. You know, we're going to we're gonna fortify all of this stuff over here, too. In fact, I think I'm going to expand the base out um, even f uh, another foundation that way and maybe even that way, too, uh, and make it even larger. I I've got some cool plans for this base uh, by the time it's all said and done. Um, you know, we, but we just have to do this a little at a time because everything's so expensive. And it's more important right now that we, we get some solid defenses in place than it is to, you know, work on the fancy pants stuff. But we will be working on the fancy pants stuff, too. That is uh, on the to-do list. It's in the works, man. It's in the works. Okay, so um, while we're waiting for that, how are you doing? Oh, you need fertilizer. All right, so let's grab that. Uh, let's also grab... put these guys up here I should hmm. well you know what nah gunpowder is so darned expensive to make I think I'd rather just spin the potassium and the fertilizer or, or the ash on fertilizer all right this one you know what let's hit this too let's just do it okay, you're at 89 percent you're at 94 percent Let's check our chicken. Uh, the chicken's level six. Um, you're great on water. You're a little bit low on food. So what I think we'll do is let's give you a couple tomatoes since you're doing such a good job there, chicken, of giving us eggs. And that uh, should get the food up to a pretty decent level there. We got a medicinal crate or medical crate. Nice cotton seeds. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. I'm going to while we're waiting for that remaining uh, those remaining iron fragments. I'm just going to hit the trees really quick here on the island, and then we'll set out. Hopefully the rain will stop uh, fairly soon. All right, guys. Uh, we are heading over towards the birch wood here. And um, there's Charlie over there and Alpha over there. So we're just going to kind of thread the needle here. And hopefully we can find ourselves our second locked crate. Uh, well, actually, I guess it'll be our first locked crate of this in-game day. Uh, but we do have two picks with us now. Uh, so let's, uh, let's kind of move up this way. And again, like we've done before, we don't want to get too terribly close. Um, to Alpha's base as we move through this the edge of the birch wood. We got some metal there. Um, I'm not obviously I'm not looking for new chickens until either A, our current chicken reaches level ten, or B, we get the upgrade going that allows us to have uh, more than one chicken. Um, get over yourself, bear. All right, let's just he, yeah, he doesn't know where we're at, so let's just kind of, kind of creep around this way. Uh, we can't really go too much further beyond the crest of this hill because their base is just right up. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. Go the other way, bear. That bear's kind of paralleling us. Yeah, there's their base right there. We haven't even raided Alpha yet. We will at some point. See, the ideal scenario is that, you know, two or maybe even all three of them try and raid us in the morning. Oh, or even in the middle of the night is fine, too. Just as long as it's after midnight. And then that gives us the entire day to to go raid their base, and they're not they're not around if we kill them all, except for the the usual you know one dude that sticks around in the 
uh, inside the base. Um, what the worst case scenario um, in terms of you know retaliation is when they attack you late in the in the evening because you know then they you know even if you kill them they're just going to respawn at midnight and I, I wish the game mechanic didn't work that way I wish and I've said this before I wish that when you killed the hunters they stayed out of the game for a few days you know like I don't know two at least I would say at least two full days maybe even you know three before they came back um but you know that's not the way it works so you just have to make there's alpha right on over there doing their thing okay well let's go around this way uh, no not that way this way we'll kind of skirt across through here yeah it's it kind of sucks that they put their base right in the middle of the birchwood why couldn't they have put it on the edge you know so we could have at least had access to half of it I mean the other option is just to go blow them up and then then take over the birchwood but <laughs> like I just said that only works for one day so okay let's grab this medicinal crate nice always happy to get an extra bandage Okay, let's kind of go down through here. Got a level two wolf there. We're actually finding normal crates, quite a few, which is good. And another bandage. And 29 nails, okay. Yeah, can't complain, guys, can't complain. Let's just go over this way a little bit. Okay, yeah, we're all, all the way at the edge, edge of the fence. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just run up uh, the glacier runoff real quick before I let you guys go. This might be a little bit longer episode than normal. I don't want to mess with a level one bear. Not worth it. Shut up. Get out of here. Um. Okay, I see a crate there. Uh, we do need to be careful of rogues of course there's a bunny I hope uh, cold games opens up the more of the map in a future update does it do you any of you guys know if that's in the works it sure seems like there could be a lot more territory opened up in this game you know the map is pretty good size not gonna lie but it could be bigger and for, you know, people who have been playing it for as long as they have, I mean, I think this map's been out for, what, two years now or something like that? It would just add a fresh take uh, to the game, you know? Uh, that is level two bear. Okay, let's not mess with him. Can Oh, okay, we got rogues, we got rogues, we got rogues. Not good. Hopefully we just got one rogue. All right. Let's come back around through here. Okay. Maybe we lucked out enough to kill him far enough away from his camp. I don't see anybody else coming after us. Okay, let's go back down this way. Watch up there. And we'll stay on this. Okay, there. Yeah, there's their camp right there. Wow. I'm surprised. Uh, maybe the other, other ones are out and about the other direction because that's cl usually close enough for them to to all aggro on you I mean if they if they would have been at the actual campsite oh there's a 
doggone bear. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's another doggone bear. And a hog. Okay, let's th kind of thread the needle up through this way. Okay, none of the the predators aggroed the pig. I don't even know if the pig sauce. Okay, there's a crate up there. Just looking around to see if I can spot anything. Yeah, we're doing we're doing good on just <coughs> of normal crates for sure. I don't recall locked crates being in this area. They might be. Um, I just don't remember that. That bear's in the water. Okay, let's just kind of follow up on this side of the the bank here. Maybe we can... Alright, looks like that's an ammo crate there. Maybe we can bag ourselves a cougar before we wrap up the episode. We haven't even shot a cougar yet in this in season two. All my sinew has been from either moose or uh, locked crates or hunters. Alright, we got a bear. And a wolf. Let's go around this way. The cougars are generally going to be on the other side of the river here. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's one right there. Okay, let's go up this way. Ammo crate here. Uh, nice. Okay, we got some rifle ammo. There's a medicinal crate up there. That's yeah, a level two mountain lion. I don't mind taking him on, but having that bear there is not ideal. Here, let's do this. Let's get down into the river here. There he is. Okay. Hopefully that bear stays over that way. All right. Let's get ourselves a cougar. Yeah, that uh, first shot didn't go over too well, but that's right. We got him. Five sinew. Okay. Not too bad. I heard a wolf growl. Probably that wolf over there. He's a level three. Okay. Our first cougar kill. All right, you guys. Well, we have a... Uh, I'm pretty sure we've gone long. Um, I'll probably edit, edit some of this out, but... Yeah, it was a good episode overall. Um, we still have two lockpicks, uh, so... We will, of course, put those to good use when the time comes. Um, let's go grab this crate before I let you go. The last crate of the episode. And then I'll probably run over there and grab that copper, too. Look at that, man. We've got a lot of bandages today. Um, okay, I'm going to eat... Both of those, and this, and yeah, cool.
All right, that is it, guys, for this episode. I'm going to work my way back to the base. And um, where's the sun at? It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, early afternoon, so I'm going to work my way back to the base, hang out at the base overnight, and I might uh, take another in-game day or two just to do some basic looting until I can build um, some more nails up, and then we can continue, you know, uh, building up our defenses and having fun doing all that stuff. Look at this. It's a double. It's a double zinc and copper. The question is, can we get to... Mm, I don't know. Boy, that's tough. That's a tough one. Uh... Yeah, those are... <laughs> <laughs> Those darn things are just out of reach, aren't they? Yeah, coming up this way is not going to help us. Well, we can get this, though. Okay, anyway, yep, that's it for this episode. So thanks, for guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. That's going to break my leg, so I'm not going to do it. See ya.